over 1,300 unauthorized private schools identified in Karnataka. Good afternoon and a warm welcome. You are watching Education News Network where you get to watch the latest television education at the report this hour. This is Baraji reporting from ENN and the release stories are. The Department of School Education and Literacy has identified 1,316 unauthorized private unaided schools across the state. It will file a criminal case against the school management under the Karnataka Act Education 1983 for violating norms. The department had ordered officials to the district level to crack down on such schools after a recent incident where a prominent school chain cheated parents in Bangalore for offering CBC education without affiliation from the board concerned. The department will now soon publish the list of unauthorized schools and make it available in the public domain in the interest of the parents and other stakeholders. As per the data from the department, 63 schools don't even have the registration but enrolled students. As many as 74 schools are graded classes without permissions, also 95 schools are offering education under the other boards, though they have permission only for the state board education. The number of schools offering English medium education disappeared with permission to teach only in Canada medium in is 294. Around 620 schools are on the list of for running additional sections without permissions, while 144 were identified for shifting schools without permissions. Among the districts, Bangalore North is the top of the list with 485 unauthorized schools followed by Bangalore South with 386, Tumkuru with 109 and Bangalore Rural with 66. The matter was discussed on the floor of the House replying to the question in the Legislative Council School Education and Literacy Minister B.C. Nagesh in a written reply said on Monday that the department is designing a software to document private unaided schools. Department officials, however, said it is an intern list which has been updated. Dr. Vishal R., the Commissioner of the Department of Public Instruction, shared that we are looking at the situation. These were the numbers collected earlier and they were being verified. Dr. Sashi Kumar, General Secretary of Associated Management of Primary and Secondary Schools in Karnataka, raised objections to the department enlisting that the additional sections opened by the schools as illegal. We have updated each and every data on the SATS website of the department and even the department is allotting students under the RTE quota to our schools. When this is the case, how they can call it as additional sections as illegally asked. That's all for today. Thank you for watching Education News Network. For more such videos, do log into our website theenn.com and do not forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Thank you.